speak the way I feel like preaching. Ah, uh, you don't know anything about uh, my ex relationship. Uh, you don't know anything about my family. <laughs> you don't know anything about uh, my husband. Uh, you don't know anything about my wife. Uh, when you see us in church, uh, don't kill us. Uh, leave us alone. <laughs> for we are in the house of God. Uh, we came in for the strength uh, and not for more destruction. <laughs> uh, I, I, I got to say the way it is. <laughs> so now Job for a while, <laughs> after he lost everything, uh, they accused him of sin. <laughs> I want you to work this. Uh, not everybody can be a prophet over your life. Uh, sometimes you need to learn to say back to the sender. <laughs> to fear, uh, back to the sender in the name of Jesus. Uh, because sometimes, do you know what men are using to judge you? <laughs> that is how the will of God sounds like uh, and feels like uh, and tests like uh, in uh, your life. Uh, for I don't come to church because I'm perfect. Uh, I come here because I'm a child of God. Uh, and if I be a child of God, <laughs> forgiveness is through the blood of Jesus. Uh, do you realize no matter how much people can attack you, <laughs> you give you names they have no power to forgive your sin the only man who can forgive your sin is our Lord Jesus Christ ah Holy Spirit help us praise the name of God someone have to be praying for me somewhere I feel the anointing of God in this place someone say religious people logical people and traditional friends are co-partners with the devil destroying what the Lord is building and they put the blame on everything see how they put the blame unto Jesus they ask Jesus why is this man's life like this is it because the man has sinned before God I feel the anointing here Jesus responded and said nah the man never sinned and the parents never sinned have I I said you touch your neighbor yet you better do it for the first time and the second time touch your neighbor for me and tell your neighbor neighbor that is how it feels like for God to manifest himself through you for it's true sometimes things and people around you can affect your life Ah, abusive relationships can affect your life. So before you criticize me as a, 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 a baby daddy, does it, they, they say a baby daddy. Uh, before you criticize my baby daddy kind of stuff, uh, you, 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 you need to be so deep to understand the circumstances surrounding everything. You are not a prophet. Uh, praise you you are not Jesus debut you are not even a PA of the kingdom of God the careless parenthood can affect you all right uh, the, the alcoholic relationship can affect you the generation of the, of the generation of different sicknesses and different stuffs can affect you becoming a victim of what other people does to you <laughs> abusive relationships but I am glad Jesus never passes the blame to any other person can I make this statement today Jesus is getting ready to take your blame and release the blessing unto your life that the mouths of your demons can be shut forever can I just go deeper you high five somebody for me right now and and honor unto them brother I got good news for you because if you keep living in the past you will end up missing the move of God in your presence I don't know if you feel what I'm feeling right now can I say it again when you keep so much holding on to the past you keep missing the move of God into your present because your breakthrough is not in your past 
Your breakthrough is in your present. Uh, your miracle is not in the past. Your miracle is in the present. Or oh, can I say this? Your husband ain't in the past. Your husband is in the present. Praise the name of God. I put everything of the past behind me and I focus towards the mark of the high calling in my life. Um, praise the name of God. So no more blaming your mama. Stop blaming your papa. And stop blaming your high school teacher. Stop blaming your ex-girlfriend. Stop blaming your ex-girlfriend. Even stop blaming your ex-husband. The reason as to why they are ex, 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 it means that was not the will of God for you. So sometimes when God breaks what was not the will of him for you, instead of you feeling bad, you got to learn how to praise God for the things that God disconnected you from. See your life right now. Can I preach the way I feel it?